YouTube channel or welcome if you're new here and welcome to my office you guys my office is finally done and fully put together and I am ready to show it to you guys this space has slowly but surely come together and I'm so happy with how everything is looking now my vision for this office was for it to be warm and cozy and inviting when you first walk in but for it also to be a very functional space and an inspiring place for me to work and spend my days. And I believe that I have gotten just that. So now let's go ahead and jump on into this office tour and let's start over here with my desk. I want to start off by giving you guys a little overview of my office. So whenever you walk through the door, this is what you see here. So there is my desk. That's where I do the majority of the filling of orders. <laughs> and then here is my space where I have my Cricut. And then I do some like packaging and stuff there. And then this here is my inventory closet. So we'll get to that. And then if you kind of swivel around here, this is where I do my YouTube filming. So I have my backdrop there. And then I just have some extra storage there. And then that's the door that we just came through. But let's go ahead and start over here with my desk so I can show you guys what I've got going on over here. This desk is from Ikea. I just have the Alex drawers on each side and then the top that comes along with it. This is my office chair that is pretty comfortable. Like I said, this desk is from Ikea. The pegboard is from Ikea. These shelves are from Ikea. <laughs> This table over here is from Ikea, and that table over there is from Ikea. All of my inventory closet furniture is from Ikea, so obviously I love Ikea. Okay, so this is my desk. This is where I spend probably like 98% of my time that I spend in this office. I am sitting at this desk. This is where I fill all of my orders. This is where I paint. This is where I package. This is where I do so many different things. So for my desk, I knew that I needed it to be something that was big enough for me to be able to do all of those things, but also have enough storage in it that I'll be able to store all of the things that I need to have handy right next to me as I'm working. I will be linking everything down below for you guys or as much as I can, but if I do miss anything that you're interested in, please leave a comment down below and I will shoot you the link for that item. Okay, so now let's jump into what is actually here in my office. Let's start with my pegboard. Seems how it's just right here. Here I'll usually put things that I am working on at the moment, like I'll put any Final that I've already weeded over here. I'll grab like the ribbon for that order if it requires that. I'll put it in here. This kind of helps me to um, like just have things right here on my desk that I'm already working on and to keep things a little bit more organized. So I love having these two bins there. Up here I just have like pens and pencils and things like that. I'll show you guys. It's not glamorous at all. It's literally just like random pens and pencils. I try to put the pretty ones at the front because they're pretty. And then I just have my squeegees for adhering the vinyl, weeding tools, scissors, and my Cricut knife. And then in the next one, I just have foam paintbrushes. So this is what those look like. I usually try to keep a handful of those. And then here I just have pre-cut parchment paper. So this is what I use to put between the baby milestones. I like to have those pre-cut. And then any acrylic that I've painted, I like to put a piece of parchment paper behind it. So this is another size. I think it's a five inch. So that's really easy. And then here I have my font styles already printed out. So these are all the font styles I use in my shop. All of my fonts in my shop are numbered instead of like having the name of the font. So this just helps me to know what font it is that I need to use if they choose like font style one. I know that it's Cadam's Cute is the name of that font. So I know which one to use. So basically I just keep these right here at my desk. So whenever I'm going through orders, I will know which fonts I need to use for which styles that the customer chooses. And then that is my pegboard. Up here I have my logo sign that I made. It just says Good and Loved Co, which is the name of my business. So I have that there, and then I have these like little wicker circles behind it that I got at Home Goods. 
And then like I said, I made this sign myself. And over here in my office, I just have a fan for whenever I get really hot in here. And then I have a couple of candles and little cute vases there. Here I have my lamp. So my lamp is from Amazon and then I have a window here with curtains and a curtain rod that is all from Ikea as well So these shelves here are from Ikea and they hold all of my paints So they're just like acrylic shelves that I um, Put onto the wall super easy to do highly recommend these are really good quality and They look so pretty in this space, especially whenever you're organizing colorful things like paints. Also here I forgot to mention I just have my computer, my phone, a little coaster that I got from an Etsy shop. Then I also have this desk lamp that I absolutely love because the lighting is so bright so whenever I'm weeding or painting or anything like that and I really need to be able to see in here my lamp over there is also pretty bright and let me show you guys what it does because it's actually so cool so this lamp is really cool because the light bulb that I have in that lamp I got it at Home Depot but I think you can find them on Amazon too this lamp is really neat because I can use my phone to turn it on and off so, and then I can also adjust the coloring of the light as well. So I like to do this one, it's called Relax. That one's really nice at nighttime. You can make it a warm white, a daylight, cool white. You can do so many different colors, it's really cool. This one's called Focus, that one's really cool to do at night too. They have a candlelight one, which is neat. Anyway, you guys get the idea, but I like to use daylight. Like I said, I will link this light bulb down below for you guys if you are interested, but I really love that light bulb and how it looks in this space. On this side of my desk, I just have my transfer tape, and then I have a few wooden boards back here that I got at Michael's. Those I use pretty often for product photos, so I like to keep them right here where I usually take my product photos. Now let's go ahead and get into the drawers in my desk. So this is on the right side of my desk. This top drawer here, I just have obviously a phone charger, and then I have some notebooks and my planner and really things that kind of help me stay organized and if I need to take any notes that's helpful too to have it right here in the side of my desk. This drawer here has my paper cutter, my wireless keyboard and mouse in case I ever want to use those, my brayer roller, and then I have a few different rollers in case I need to measure anything. In this drawer I have all of the vinyl that I use the most often, so just a few different colors here that I have. Then I have some tape over here. But these are my vinyl scraps. If you've ever worked with vinyl, then you know that you always have these random little scraps of vinyl that you want to save because you don't want to be wasteful. But then you're also like, am I ever going to use like this one inch wide piece? I don't know. I might. <laughs> so I save it. But I like to put them in these little clear sheet protectors to kind of keep them all together instead of having them all thrown in this drawer. So this one's a little bit of a mess, but it is what it is on that. <laughs> This is my paper drawer, so I just have my cardstock papers, regular printer paper, some craft cardstock paper. So I like to keep all of my paper in this drawer here. And this final drawer is all of my camera equipment. So this is all of my lenses, my microphone, different stands that I have and little cords that I need for like I use this one for live streaming um, to set up my microphone and all that. I also have my external hard drive back here. So this is just basically everything like tech that I need for filming YouTube videos is all in this drawer here. In this dark little corner under my desk, I have a space where I have hung up my Cricut mats that I use pretty often. So I just have my cutting mats and then I have here my Cricut self-healing mat. So that's just right here underneath my desk next to the drawers. This is the left side of my desk and this is where I have most of my like things that I use pretty often. A lot of like office supplies and things like that. I have paper clips, thumbtacks, some whiteout and super glue. I have some post-it notes, some little like tag notes. This is just an adapter for my MacBook. I have some replacement blades for my Cricut. I have another blade that I use for my Cricut as well. I also have my pencil that I use with my iPad. And then I just have some mechanical pencils and highlighters here, which this set of highlighters is so beautiful. I got it on Amazon, but whenever I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. 
those are beautiful look at those colors <laughs> and they work really well I've been using them a lot whenever I need to highlight different things on my um, packing slips so yeah I really love those highlighters and all of the colors and then I just have over here a few little lip products so that my lips are not dusty and crusty in here while I'm working. And then I have another um, adapter for my MacBook and then some pretty little tape that I use whenever I'm packaging some smaller orders. So that is this drawer. Here I just have some vinyl that I had already weeded that I didn't want to throw away. So I just put it back here and I have a few of these as well. So I'll probably use those at some point. Then I just have some gum because who doesn't need gum in their desk? I have a little vinyl catcher and then a little ring holder that says pray more, worry less. I have no clue where I got this, but I've had it for so long and I don't even remember. I think someone gave it to me, but I don't remember you guys. I don't know how this appeared in my life, but I really love it and it's nice to have it here in my office desk and it just reminds me to pray more and worry less. So that's always good. Next up in this drawer, I have my thank you cards, which I put in every single order that I get. I like to write a little handwritten note on the back. You guys have probably seen me do this a million times in my work with me videos. And then I also have this little card that I like to put in all of my orders. And then here I just have some alcohol wipes. And then I have these cards that I put in with my decal orders. And then I have some packing peanuts. And then back here I have the instructions for how to apply the decals to wherever the person is trying to apply them. So I have those back there along with my little hole puncher. In this drawer, I have everything that I need to make my vinyl decals. So I have all of my vinyl pre-cut here in the sizes that I need for my decals that I make. And then I have a microfiber cloth, which I'm often using. And then this is just pre-made packaging that I use for my decals. So that is all in that drawer. In this drawer I have all of my cello bags. So I have just different sizes that I need for packaging. I have a larger size here as well. But this is just all of my cello bags. And then down here I just have extra thank you cards, fragile stickers, some tape, and then I have the poly mailers that I use for shipping out my decals. Now we're going to come over to this area here which I have a little bit of storage. This is my YouTube filming table. And then back here I just have a few signs that I recently finished up. These just need to be packaged up and shipped out which I'll probably do right after I finish filming this video. But let's swivel over to these here and I'll go ahead and show you guys what I have in here. So first I'll show y'all I have just some extra poly mailers in here. This is just a random bin full of different poly mailers just in case I ever want to do anything different with my packaging. Have some options there. And then here I just have all of my corner protectors for my larger signs. So I just have these here. You just kind of fold them up and they become corner protectors. So that is what's in that bin. Here I just have some extra candles that I use around my office for whenever I am feeling cozy, which is pretty often. And then down here, I just keep a few of my daughter's craft supplies, chalk markers, things like that. Things that I don't really want her to have like direct access to, I keep them in this bin and then I will come in and get them whenever she needs them or wants to play with them. In this bin here, I have my larger bubble bubble wrap. It fits perfectly in this bin and keeps it hidden. So that makes me very happy. And then in this bin, I just have my cardboard cutter which I use pretty often, so I like to keep that here. And then just above those bins that we just went through, I have my YouTube filming table. I also use this table for lives as well. I'll just kind of pull it out and put it here in the middle of the floor and I will film my lives that way. And then on the table, I have some vases here and a candle. The bunny tails I got at CB2 and then the vases and the candle here, I got all of that at the at-home store. I usually use those bunny tails for product photos. I think that looks so cute whenever you do that. So I do like to use the bunny tails for that. 
And then on this side of the table, I have this stunning vase that I got at CB2 and this taupe colored pompous that I got at CB2 as well. I will be sure to link this little set up here for you guys because I have gotten multiple questions about where I got those. So I will link those for you guys. And then we will swivel back around this way. <laughs> I have a little, I don't actually know where I got this greenery from, but I think I got it at like Target a while ago. I'm not 100% sure, but I have a little greenery there. And then I have this line art that I framed and put that there. And then I have these bins. I got this at Walmart, the um, cubbies, and then I got the actual bins on Amazon. But I know they have the same exact ones at Walmart. So I will link both for you guys because they are hard to find. I don't know what it is about that type of bin, but a lot of people love the look of it, as do I. So they are sometimes hard to find. But let's go ahead and go through these bins and I'll show you guys what all I have in there. In this bin here, I just have some shipping supplies. So I have my packing tape, my scale for weighing out all of my packages, and then I have some saran wrap on a roll that I use to package up my larger signs. Here I have all of my vinyl. So I only use Orical 651 vinyl. A lot of people have asked me that. So this is where I keep all of my vinyl. And then down here in this bottom bin, I have all of my heat transfer vinyl. So with this one, I will always use the Sizer brand or Caesar, however you say it. That's the brand that I typically use. And this is where I keep all of my heat transfer vinyl. Now I'll show you guys this space. This is where we just looked and then right next to it I have this little set of cubbies here. So here I just have some like greenery and things that I use for taking product pictures, different like seasons. Like sometimes I like to use like a Christmas themed greenery or if it's like something wedding related I like to use like little flowers and things like that. So this is where I keep all of the greenery for my product photos. And then in this bin here, I don't have much. I just have some extra ink for my printer. Here I have everything that I need to do my own nails. <laughs> this is super random, but I like to keep all of this in my office because I typically will sit at my desk and I like to do my own nails. So I have my gel nail machine here, some alcohol, and then all of the polishes and nail files and all of that in this bin. This one is empty because I need to refill a few things, so this one is empty for now. And then in this bin here, I have some like microphone equipment and a desk light. So that's just kind of random stuff that I threw in that bin. And then this bin down here is actually empty as well. So I have some room to grow here when it comes to my organization. Now we're gonna kind of move over here and you see my printer. This is where I print all of my packing slips and my thank you stickers. And then I have it just on a little acrylic stand down there. I need to get a printer stand that will fit under this desk. There is a like a little table here. I need to get a printer stand that will fit under here so that my printer can sit up on it. But for now, it is just on this little acrylic stand down here and it's living its best life so for now that's how it is but i'll eventually get a little printer stand i need to find one like i said that will that's not taller than the top of this desk so that it can fit under here so now we're going to move up to the desk and actually show you guys what is up here on this desk i have my cricut which is the cricut maker and I just basically pull it out from the wall whenever I need to use it, but I like to push it up against the wall to give extra space on the desk. And then I have the date on a little sign thing here that I got at Target. I have a little candle from Ikea. And then I have this vase and this pompous up here. And then I got this wall hanging from Home Goods. I have a mirror here, which I absolutely love. I got that at Target. And then I have a paper sorter here. This is where I keep all of my thank you stickers and my application instructions for my decals. Here I have my Rolo printer. So this is where I'll usually bring my laptop over here and I will print out my packing slips and do like all of the application of the packing slip onto the box over here in this area. 
and then we're back around to this here. So that is what that corner looks like. Now we're gonna go right this way into the inventory closet. So whenever we open up the inventory closet, this is what it looks like from outside. Here I just have a ring light and then a few other lighting things that I use for YouTube videos. And then this is my inventory closet. This is the top shelf here. I just have my Cricut Easy Press, um, a little more greenery that I use for product photos, some pictures of my family, a basket that I keep all of my canvas bags that I use for going to the post office. And then I just have a little bit of like home decor. And then up above here, I just have some shipping boxes. These are the ones that you always see me use in my work with me videos. Some tissue paper that I use in a lot of my orders. This is a box full of just like random stuff that we're not even going to get into. This is my parchment paper that I use for my orders. It's just big sheets here that I cut down to size. And then I have some packing paper that I use for my larger signs. I have packing peanuts and some packing material here. And then this box is another random box with like some spray paint and random other things like that. In this corner, I have a stand that I use to take product photos. And then I have a few different tripods there. Back in this little corner here, I have some larger cutting mats and then I have some acrylic back there. I keep my 18 by 24 signs and my 24 by 36 signs here. Now let's get into the drawers and I can show you guys how I have all of this organized. This first set here I have all of my acrylic. The second set of drawers here has like paintbrushes and paint and a little bit of shipping supplies down towards the bottom. And then this one here is kind of miscellaneous. It's like a bunch of different random things, but I will show you what's in all of these drawers now. In this top drawer, I have my four inch acrylic rounds. In the second drawer, I have some five inch acrylic and six inch acrylic. And then I have all of my bookmarks. So I have the, the tassels for the bookmarks here and then I have all of the different bookmarks that I sell in my shop, the different colors and all of that. So I, have, I keep all of those in this drawer. In the third drawer, I keep all of my four inch rounds with a hole. So I use these for ornaments, stocking tags, and the bridal hanger tags. I keep those in this drawer. I need to obviously restock on them because I only have a few left. Next up, I have all of my rectangle shapes. So I have the 4x6 rectangle, the 5x7, and then I have a 5x7 arch here as well. Next, I have my 8x10s. So I have the clear acrylic and the white acrylic 8x10s. And then in this drawer, I have all of my arches. So these are just 8x10 arches, and I have a bunch of those. So that is in this drawer. In this next drawer, I have all of my place cards. So I have rectangle and hexagon. And then I have some cake toppers. So I have my round and my hexagon cake toppers. And then I have all of my larger pieces. So I have the 12 inch rounds and then I have 11 by 14 sheets down here. And then in this last drawer, I have all of my ornaments. So I have some frosted acrylic down here, white acrylic. I have these like fun shapes, like little um, apples and dog bones and houses. So these are, oh, and I have cats too. <laughs> so these are all of my ornaments that I like to keep down here. And then I also just have some round acrylic, like clear, white, and frosted as well. Those are all of the ornaments that I have. Now we're going to move into the middle section. This is where I keep my foam paintbrushes, my mixing little popsicle sticks to mix up my paint. And then I have some squeegees here. And then in the back, I just have some little containers to hold paint in. And then here I have all of my paint. So these are my Valspar paints. So that drawer is just full of paint. And then here is another drawer with paint. And then I have a bunch of different paint brushes, foam brushes, sponges, chip brushes in the back. I like to keep all of my like random paint supplies here. And then in this next drawer, this is where I keep all of my sign stands. So I have the walnut sign stands, the um, acrylic sign stands, and then I have some smaller acrylic stands here. And then I have some white ones too. And then I have these two different sizes for birch wood stands. Next 
next up I have my Sharpie oil based markers. I like to keep these in this drawer. I do put these in with my orders. Everyone who orders the birth stat signs, I like to put an oil based Sharpie in so that they can write on the sign. So I have different colors of that here. And then I have my canvas bags. This is what I put my baby milestones in whenever I'm getting ready to ship them out. In this next drawer, I have all of my ribbon and my twine. These are the ribbons that I use for my ornaments and my bridal hanger tags. And anytime I use ribbon, this is exactly the drawer that I come to. And then here I have some bubble mailer pouches. These I have gotten a few questions about. Let me show you guys here. They're just little pouches basically that you can just put the item in and then seal it up instead of having to like wrap it with bubble wrap. So this really helps to save time whenever you are packaging. I like to keep those here in this drawer and then I have some bubble wrap, some honeycomb paper that I use for packaging as well. And then back here I just have some fragile sticker tape that I use pretty often. And the last two drawers here are just bubble mailers. These are my six by nine size and then here's down in that drawer, same thing. And then over here in the third section, the top drawer, I keep all of my receipts. So I have this little like container here that I keep all of my receipts in for tax time. I have a few chargers here and then I have some envelopes. In the next drawer, this is where I keep all of my tape. So I have all of my packaging tape here, shipping tape, and then I have some different types of like glues and stuff. Anything that's like sticky, I decided to put in this drawer so I know right where it is, like tapes, glues, hot glue gun, hot glue, stuff like that. In this drawer, I have some different types of paint and then I have some like random stuff. Like this is what I use to put my metal leaf onto acrylic. And then I have some, um, a container back here with some alcohol in it. I have a paintbrush here, some roller brushes, some glue sticks that wouldn't fit in this top drawer. So I just put them down here. And then I just have some random little paints down here. Next up, we have an interesting drawer here. This is where I put all of my samples, like all of my acrylic samples, like things that I make that I don't just want to throw it away, but I just made it as a sample. Like it wasn't made for anyone in particular, but I don't just want to throw it away because I can use it in the future for product pictures or anything like that. This is just a random piece of acrylic that I used to make a hole. I was practicing drilling holes in acrylic, so this was just a little practice piece. So this one is obviously a throwaway piece, but good to have around in case I need to practice with any new paint colors or anything like that. This is my paint color chart that I made in one of my previous videos. This is what I use to display all of my paint colors to my customers. Here's a few other pieces of acrylic that are just kind of like maybe a little bit damaged or whenever they cut they weren't perfect so I didn't want to give it to a customer so I just put it into this drawer that I can use for practicing like as you can tell I use this to practice drilling holes too. Here's another sample, there's a sample there, some more samples, and then this is all like samples too, I believe. And I don't just wanna throw these things away, so I just keep them in this drawer, just in case I ever need them, like I said, for product pictures. Next up, we have some of these bags that I use to pack my five by seven table numbers. These are called glassine bags, but they're basically like a parchment paper. It's kind of like a mix between parchment paper and wax paper, I don't know if that makes sense. So I have those here. And then below that I have some more cello bags and then I have some thank you stickers over there. In this next drawer I have some more of the saran wrap that I use for packaging my larger signs. I have some extra transfer tape here that's like clear and then I have a grid line transfer tape. I use these two whenever I am making larger acrylic signs. Here I have some extra paper. I have wax paper. I just have some regular like drawing paper. And then I also have some freezer paper. I don't know if you've ever used freezer paper before, but it's like a regular paper on one side and then the other side is kind of like glossy a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. But I like to lay out some of this paper whenever I am painting because I don't want to get my desk tabletop dirty. So I like to lay this out because it does save my desk from the wear and tear of everything that I do at that desk for my business. Business. I do recommend doing this if you don't want to ruin your tabletop and you are painting a lot. This will really save the top of your desk. In this drawer, I have some larger containers of paint. I have white and then I have this kind of like white gray color. It's actually the color of the walls here in my house. So I use that for any like touch ups, but I just keep that here. And then I have some polycrylic as well. 
And then down in this very bottom drawer, I like to keep my microfiber cloths. And then that is just like a muslin cloth that I use whenever I'm taking some product photos. I wanted to mention to you guys that last week I uploaded a video where I was organizing my entire office. So if you're new here or you missed that video and you are interested in office organization, I would recommend that you go and check that one out as well. The comments on that video say that it is very satisfying. All right, you guys, that is my full office tour. This was my most requested video by far. I have gotten so many people that have asked me to do this video. So I'm glad to finally do it for you guys. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you guys love my office as much as I do. Like I said before, I will be linking as much as I can down in the description box. So check there if you are interested in anything that I have here in my office and you would like to add it to your office. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and touring my office with me. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up before you go. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That is two ways that you can help to support my YouTube channel. And I do very much appreciate that. I will see you guys in a new video soon. Bye.